Good morning. Uh, welcome to the November uh, 21st meeting of Septic to Sewer Advisory Committee. Uh, roll call, please. Chair, Chair Neil Hannigan. Chair. Here. Member Ron Kern. Present. Member John Liscom. Here. Member Roy Shines. Here. Vice <coughs> Chair Arthur Zev. Here. Pledge of Allegiance, please. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, next item is uh, approving the minutes. Uh, I have some comments when it's my turn. Anyone else have, uh, have any? Mr. Kern? Uh, no comment. No comment. No comment. Um, the minutes, as uh, as dictated here, uh, I'm trying to find my minutes here now. I didn't. Uh, a whole missing section. Um, I proposed an amendment to the motion that was presented by Mr. Zev, and that motion uh, did not receive a second. I would like to see that reflected in the, in the minutes of the meeting, please. And in the paragraph here that is bolded, uh, the third line down, same in city rates for eternity. I believe, my recollection is the word that was used was perpetuity. Mm -hmm. I would like to see that change also, please. Uh, with those changes, uh, if no one has. On, on page three, <coughs> go ahead. On page three, there's a. There's a section that has to do with uh, with the motion made by by uh, Mr. Zev, and it basically says that there was no second, and the motion failed due to lack of a second. Page three, uh, fifth paragraph or sixth paragraph down. It's in it's it's in bold. Good. Yeah, I think that's correct. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, that's. That's a different motion, I believe. Is, are you talking about the one for the water or yes, the sewer? Yes, I'm talking about the one for the water. I beg your pardon. I stand corrected. Any other comments? Okay. Uh, with with those changes, then, I would, uh, can I hear a motion to accept the minutes? Motion to accept. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, the next item uh, is a change uh, to the order here. I would like to propose that uh, we move item number two to after item number four for continuity of topic reasons. Uh, does anyone have any comments reference to that? No objection. Okay. 
Do we need to make that a motion, or is that just something to? Consensus is fine. Okay, that's mm -hmm. fine. So that's the way we'll uh, do the business then this morning. Um, so let's see. So I have an update on. Uh, public comment. Excuse me, public comment would be next. That is correct. Um, uh, do you want to read the, uh, make the statement about uh, how public comment will be conducted, Kathy, please? The chair will invite the public to speak to the committee. Public comment on specific agenda items may be made later in the meeting when the items are taken up at the discretion of the committee. There is a three-minute individual limit for public comments that will be timed by the town clerk. Public comment is not meant to be a question and answer period, and there will be no dialogue. Anyone wishing to speak during public comment, please come up to the podium and print <coughs> your name and address on the sheet provided and state your name and address for the record. Mr. Brown. <coughs> you want me to do that? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Terry Brown, Harbor Drive South. I just wanted to uh, share with each member, I, I know that some of the actual commission members are aware of this publication known as Florida Trend, which is not a radical left or a radical right. It's a premier magazine of business in Florida. They recently did a study in the October edition called Florida's Septic Tanks and Pollution. It deals with everything 30% of the population in the state of Florida are on septic tanks, 30%. It would take billions of dollars in 30 years or more to convert everybody. But I just wanted to point out that you can get this online. It's written by Mike Vogel. Uh, this publication is the same publication as the Tampa um, Times, which used to be the old St. Pe Petersburg Times. And I'm just going to list some of the highlights. You need to read it. Um, it took 30 years and $1 billion for the keys to move that small amount of residents to a centralized sewer system. Uh, it would spend $18 billion and take 20 years to do anything in Florida remotely close to that. 12% um, of the septic tanks in the entire country are in the state of Florida. Uh, the State Department of Health says 30% are on septic tanks and that such systems are safe and effective way to get rid of waste. This is the Department of Health. Now, there's other comments in here about other people talking about the algae bloom and the, the uh, impact that nitrogen has on the Florida Bay further south of the Everglades. Um, we are not, by the way, on an impaired body of water, even though we're adjacent to the lake with Lagoon, the lagoon ends at the inlet. This part of the intercoastal is man-made. The Lake Worth Lagoon is everything north, way up into Little Lake Worth. Am I right? Yeah. All right, she's agreeing with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right now. <laughs> <Or now. laughs> um, some of the other things that they point out that um, in Port St. Lucie, there's still 17,380 homes, single family homes that are not on septic tanks, and it would take 40 years to convert them at the rate that they're doing now, which is 350 a year. But the big issue, of course, is funding, um, that it would take um, Bavard County asked the state of Florida last year, as High Paluxo did, to contribute a little bit, which they did not get a penny. Is that correct? Um, they asked for $11.5 million to convert Bavard County, which is on an impaired body of water, the uh, Indian River Lagoon, to convert. This is the state legislature. They had their reps, Republican representatives, go up there and ask. And they have only 1,019 homes. And that would cost $23 million. You know how much money they got? 500000 There were 29 requests for this type of project. The Florida legislature is not funding them. These low-cost loans, like they did in Tequesta on the Loxahatchee River, 
because that was an impaired body of water and a national uh, treasure river, I believe it's called. That was many years ago, what? about 15 years ago. And they converted the city of Tequesta to, septic, to a central sewer system. And they gave them low cost loans to pay it off. So the reality is spelled out here. If you can get the legislature to give you money, good luck. But you need to read this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very, Thanks, very nicely done. Yeah. Anyone else, please? All right, we'll close public comment. Um, Let me, can I, may I just say that yeah. the Florida League of Cities um, is very much promotes Florida Trend Magazine. I have not read the article. However, um, I would highly recommend that I'm going to read it. I think we should all read it. I think that's, it, they put out really good information. I think it would help all of us. Thanks. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, the next item is... Uh, Chairman's report. Uh, I would like to uh, <coughs> sort of go back and reflect on how we started, and uh, and take us uh, through to uh, what I th where I think we are today. Uh, at our August meeting, uh, I proposed the statement of purpose outlining a constructive, <coughs> collaborative process to guide us in addressing the purpose and needs of the commission, the town staff, and the citizens of Ocean Ridge. Uh, through my discussions uh, uh, with these people, I understood and shared that the value and contribution of this committee rested not in the destination, but the quality of the journey. Uh, due to constraints of operating and presenting the building blocks for all to share in the sunshine, it was going to be a slow, deliberative, and incremental, incremental process in nature. But from shared feedback with both staff and commissioners, this was felt to be an appropriate way to proceed. That fundamental approach, which I outlined uh, in August, was ratified by this committee. Uh, I would like to update both the committee and others here in, in attendance on the progress we have made to date and my assessment of those areas still in need of attention. So this, uh, the slide that's up there now is just a bullet of uh, the categories that I thought uh, at the time and were adopted by this committee uh, were, were important. Uh, let's go to the first item, which was uh, assessing, and uh, we'll go through each of these items one at a time. Uh, at the time, we identified a need for the town engineer to do an infrastructure report. That was done by Lisa Trepepe. It, uh, it was presented, it was a fabulous physical inventory and description and status of uh, that infrastructure. Uh, I think that item is finished, I think it was well done. Uh, another item was the current and proposed water agreement with Boynton Beach. Uh, we have uh, moved in quite a few areas here. Uh, I don't think we're finished as of uh, the direction from the uh, town commission at the last meeting. And I think they're uh, asking us to research additional requests made by both the staff and the commission. Uh, a trade-off analysis uh, of water distribution, infrastructure, and maintenance, uh, that is covered partially by both of the items above. I think that the uh, infrastructure part is very well done. And, and finish. Um, in terms of maintenance and both in plans and costs, uh, that process and input uh, is going to be ongoing and we need input from Boynton Beach and the town. Uh, status assessment, um, that was the opportunity for both single family homeowners and HOAs to provide us with uh, the health condition and uh, status of their systems. Uh, that was led by uh, Mr. Kern. Uh, that report uh, has been used and will continue to be used and, uh, and, has, and has been accomplished. Uh, a needs assessment um, where we're looking at vulnerability, sustainability, cost, and alternatives. Um, I think we're 
pretty uh, far along in understanding uh, uh, the condition of both the uh, package plants and individual uh, homeowners septic systems. I think the only thing that is left to for this committee to have some discussion on is uh, whether some of the shortcomings that were identified, whether those items are a town responsibility or an individual responsibility. Uh, let's go to the next page, which was to explore, uh, and this was separating, solving the water contract. Um, and that, and the, the status there is uh, a continued need now to outline some more contract <laughs> guidance coming from the commission. Uh, accessibility easements right away. Uh, this will be addressed further in this meeting. Uh, it's become a pretty dynamic topic, uh, <coughs> especially with a letter that was just received recently uh, from Boynton Beach uh, to the uh, five condo group. And I think Mr. Kern is probably going to want to address part of that. Is that correct? I do. Okay. Uh, grants availability, timing, and securing. Uh, that's an ongoing uh, topic. Uh, I, I don't think I don't think that's going to stop. Uh, uh, I think what Terry is saying is going to provide more information on that. So thank you very much for that input. Um, and that's being uh, led by uh, Mr. Lipscomb. Uh, the mandate, uh, probability, scope, and timing category, I think we've all identified this as what I would call in the old terms of mapping out anything, a critical path item. Um, it's, it's clearly an unknown. Uh, it's, it's an unknown and an uncertainty short term and long term. But uh, I don't think it's something we can ignore, and I think things could could turn on a dime, or they could literally drag out, you know, forever. So uh, that's the status of that. Transitions, other municipalities, best worst practices. Uh, that's progressing, and I think today we're probably going to have our first uh, significant input on that. And and Mr. Shins. Uh, has made a significant contribution. And he's going to make a presentation uh, towards the end of the meeting. Uh, limitations and constraints, that's just a general category. And legalities, uh, the first major legality issue that we did talk about uh, was the uh, uh, statement by uh, legal counsel that uh, proceeding in either of these two uh, items, both water and sewer uh, did not carry an annexation risk at the present time. Excuse me, at the present time. Uh, moving on to evaluating, uh, we had the physical uh, comparison of gravity vacuum and hybrid systems, and that's, that was based on the proposal that came forward uh, from Boynton Beach. It was validated. Uh, uh, by our town engineer in an assessment uh, that we were also presented with. And, uh, and I think the open item that came out of that uh, is a need to further explore a vacuum system. Um, that's either going to be a lot of travel or seeking uh, a little bit more assistance from local communities. We, do, we have identified now a couple of places where it, it has been used, uh, but we haven't uh, been able to... Uh, to get someone to uh, do a show and tell for us or uh, give us further help. Implementation methodologies. Uh, this is an area where uh, I think uh, in a public forum, uh, the committee needs to begin to uh, articulate uh, both feasibility and scale. Um, we, need, we need to start uh, assessing how we size, or, or in the future, if and when, how we would size a system to be able to, to operate adequately as quickly as possible, uh, as cheaply as possible, and with the least impact on the town. Uh, the implementation mode, uh, voluntary, mandatory, and the timing, that's unknown, but I think we're going to start 
to get into that with your presentation. Sure. Is that correct, Mr. Yep. Shins? So uh, we're going to open the, that subject also today. Uh, costing methodologies, distribution of costs, uh, it has not been done. And once again, uh, some of that is going to be alluded to in the future presentation by Mr. Shin. Uh, funding methodology, sourcing and repayment. Uh, again, th that leads from the above items and that hasn't been done yet either. Uh, the responsible agency, Boynton Utility or the Town of Ocean Ridge for both the water or the sewer. Uh, we do have a statement from staff that uh, Ocean Ridge at this time has no desire to create a utility department. Is that correct? Yes. <laughs> a hundred uh, times yes. <laughs> <laughs> a little humor. Um, education. Um, these are the stakeholders. Uh, and uh, that's been ongoing as uh, referenced by the meetings, the presentations, and the availability online of minutes and uh, other reports that have been generated. Uh, communication, uh, obviously that's job one of a committee like this. Uh, this is the area that I, I think we'll discuss a little further when we get into uh, an assessment of uh, where we are today based on the last commission meeting. Um, recommendations, um, the direction from the last uh, commission meeting was to expand conceptually uh, to respond uh, to things that have been identified by staff or, the, or commissioners. So uh, that, again, is ongoing. So I, th I think uh, it, it's a laborious process. And it's laborious in nature by uh, the way we have to conduct business and the way we have a responsibility to keep you informed and, and to keep you uh, appraised of uh, where we wa want to lead our discussions and looking for your future input. Um, so I would now like to go towards uh, uh, a discussion of uh, pot the potable, excuse me, spitting this out, the potable water. Uh, where are we on uh, the potable water uh, based on uh, what happened at our, our last meeting what was then presented uh, to the t uh, town commission and what the commission uh, came back with. So uh, can I get you to uh, read that letter uh, or make it available to uh, the members of the community uh, so we know mm -hmm. what your position as a town administrator and what the commission's position was with what was presented to them at the last meeting. Sure, let me read this and then let me give you a little bit of background too, okay? okay? So as you know, the majority of this committee recommended to the town commission that the town agree to transfer the ownership of the entire water system to the city of Boynton Beach <coughs> at no charge subject to Ocean Ridge residents paying the same in-city rates in perpetuity, in perpetuity as the city of Boynton Beach residents with no surcharge and that the city of Boynton Beach assume all responsibility for and pay all costs of the maintenance, repairs and replacement of the water infrastructure at no, char at no change or at no charge, sorry, to the residents of the town of Ocean Ridge by any means. There was an item on the November town commission agenda to discuss the recommendation of the committee and the town commission voted to reject that recommendation at this time, directing the, this committee to continue to work on the matter in order to complete the necessary research that it needs to do and to research so that we can answer certain questions. Now let me just give you a little bit of background on that. Um, once this committee makes a recommendation, we put it on the next town commission agenda. And before the uh, meeting, staff has individual meetings with the commissioners to talk about the agenda items. And in our conversations with the commission um, individually, 
there were a lot of questions from each individual commissioner at that point and it was clear to staff that we weren't going to get any traction when the meeting happened so i made a recommendation at that meeting to push this off until the committee can do further research so there are many questions that still remain unanswered, such as what is the current condition of our pipes, including the valves, and when was the last time that the valves were exercised and the pipes examined. Um, we need to determine the potential replacement cost of the potable, potable water infrastructure and the time frame for that replacement. Um, we need to know how much would be needed in our capital budget each year to begin saving for replacement in the future if we were to keep that infrastructure. We need to know what our typical maintenance costs of the infrastructure is each year, and I've started to calculate those numbers. Um, if we were to transfer our infrastructure to another city, how would that affect our financial statements, and would the loss of those assets affect our bond rating? I've had conversations already with our uh, town auditors and I'm still waiting for our bankers to call us back so I'm researching that as well um, if we were to transfer our infrastructure to another city would we need to repurchase the infrastructure in accordance with the laws of Florida pertaining to the expiration of franchises granted by municipalities we still have to explore that um, we need to explore the split between Hypoluxo and Manalapan, and um, Lisa Trapepi has reached out to Manalapan to try to get some answers related to that. We need to know what the liability to Manalapan is and how they're transitioning the ownership of the infrastructure. Um, Manalapan and Hypoluxo are still working through details, and they don't have those details ready for us yet. We have reached out, but we don't know the answers yet. Uh, we need to review the contracts between the city of Boynton and other municipalities to determine whether the city owns the infrastructure and we may be able to, to talk to our representatives from Boynton to get a better picture on that. And then also clarify the ownership and liability of the three intercoastal waterway pipes. And those are just, uh, yeah, it's just at the tip of the iceberg. These are just questions that came up in our conversations with commissioners and questions that staff had and also members of this committee. So we, I think we need to start with researching these questions and adding more as we go along and go from there. Okay. Uh, do we have any comments from individual members of the committee? Uh, in reference to the direction we were given, uh, Mr. Zell, Mr. Kern. Uh, <clears throat> many of these seem that we could get answers from um, from our town engineer. Mm -hmm. uh, there's there's a, a great deal of interaction here. Uh, some of it is engineering wise. Others of it is is where she has <coughs> contacts with municipalities. I believe a lot of these questions uh, could be answered by Lisa if we uh, if if. If she could tackle some of these, or she probably already has. And I'm working. I'm doing that as well. Yeah. I'm tackling that with Lisa. Um, we're working together to try to answer as many of these questions as we can. And also, the town commission contracted with Raftelis um, as far as the financial aspect goes. Do we have not initiated contact with them yet. Do you think it's? Uh, is it time to do that now, or should we wait until uh, you get a few more answers from your sources, and and then we can ask more specific yes, rather the than open-ended things of Raptor? Yeah, the latter. I would like to continue to do research before we head in that direction. Agreed. Does everyone else feel the same way? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anything else, Mr. Kern? No. Uh, Lisa, would you? Would you like to respond to that? I mean, no. I mean, <laughs> no, I mean, we just put you on the spot for a bunch of things. I mean, well, I, let me let me just, I, if I, I can, before she answers. Please go ahead. Um, I agree. I think there are a number of items on this list that uh, the engineer, town engineer, is the best one to respond to. I also think that there is a number of items on here 
um, that might require some input from the, uh, the town attorney Correct. as well. Correct. Yes. I just want to make that point. Uh, which, uh, well, and specifically, the, yeah, just, yeah. I, I mean, I just <laughs> jotted down a few notes, like item number six, the transitioning of the ownership of the infrastructure, and then um, also that there was a comment about the uh, when the franchise grant mm -hmm. exp expired. I think those tend to be more legal issues. Yes, yes. yes. absolutely. Yes, and we do um, consult with our town right. attorney as well. And also, if you would like the town attorney to come to a uh, meeting, we can certainly invite him. That's where I was yeah. going to go uh, with the next my, my next comment uh, from what Mr. Zeb just said, is mm -hmm. if we're going to discuss some of these items openly mm -hmm. uh, at our next meeting, based on either what you find or other questions that we have, I, th I think we would need him here. Sure. Um, any, any, well, uh, are, are we going to have a list like this for the septic to sewer also? I mean, why why weren't we I, given these to begin with? I mean, are we going to have a whole huge list come at us again? Mm -hmm. I mean, as we work through question? the process, yes, definitely. Well, can we get those sooner rather than later? So <coughs> while we're working through this, at least we know what we're trying to answer just making sense yeah too much sense yeah well just a general comment I I think the breakdown of water and sewer which sometimes overlap and sometimes don't I think it got precipitated by what happened at our last meeting and what happened at the Commission meeting right. as we march through these steps the stages I think we are going to find that there's more and more that is in common because uh, if, if in fact, if and when you do sewer, who's going to own the sewer pipes? It's, it's going to be some of the same issues over again. Right. And um, I, I think the next meeting when we start talking about these things in public <clears throat> and among ourselves, because that's the way we have to do it, I think we're going to see that there is a lot of commonality. And that discussion is basically our next meeting. And I think we'll see more of that when we see what Mr. Shins is gonna present. So I, I would like us at our next meeting to, to answer some of the things that you're saying, because uh, I don't think we're just focusing on water or just on sewer. There's a lot of overlap. Yeah, well, I agree. This, this seems almost overwhelming. We get these questions yeah. out of the blue we already made a recommendation and passed on, now we're getting the questions like putting the cart before the horse almost. Mm -hmm. Well, these are, like I said, these are questions based from conversations we've had as staff and with the commissioners. So we're Excuse compiling these kidding. questions and bringing them to you now okay. for discussion. I have two comments if I might. One, I would like to suggest that in the future when a recommendation of this committee is brought to the commission, that the committee um, have the opportunity to make a presentation to answer questions. Because at that meeting, there was, uh, you made the reference, and now we understand why, mm -hmm. <laughs> saying that there were these other questions. Yes. But there was no opportunity uh, uh, for the committee representatives to get up and explain how they arrived at that position. So I would hope going forward that there would be a presentation by the committee or its representatives in relation to those items, number one. Number two, as we go through these items on the sewer issue, and <clears throat> I mean, I have a, another question here that I'm... I'm Can I address that first part certainly. first? Okay, so anytime the committee makes a recommendation to the commission, it's going to go on the next commission agenda. So you definitely have the opportunity to, well, to talk to the commission at that I th point. I, I think it should be a formal presentation. It's, it's an agenda item. I, in my est I would suggest that there be a formal presentation by the committee, not just simply, here's a recommendation of the committee, what do you think? Mm -hmm. So I, that's certainly. my personal view. Certainly. So usually the chair would take care of doing the presentations, mm -hmm. just like when there's a recommendation from the planning and zoning, the chair of that committee will make the presentation. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. Um, the other item I wanted to mention, so there's a number of questions here, and I have another one which I jotted down, but I'm not sure I'm going to speak to right now. 
is that as we go through the discussion on the potable water and the contract, I think we all might want to keep in mind that at some point this is going to become a negotiation between mm -hmm. the commission and the city. And therefore, it's not a good idea to, come to negotiate in public. And there may be certain yeah. items that perhaps sh I think should be uh, addressed or not addressed, should be considered, but I'm not sure they should be considered questions that Absolutely. should be raised, raised I right here. I agree with you so, 100% and I've and, said that before. Right. And, yeah. it, and so what I'm asking for, any direction as to how we can legally, I can give you a question to say, mm -hmm. hey, Perhaps can someone look into this, mm -hmm. but don't think it should be discussed here because Boynton Beach is sitting in the, in the audience. Sure. So any direction on how to handle that, I'd appreciate it. Okay, perfect. Um, I'd just like to toss the, uh, the conversation back to Lisa because I, I threw over that grenade and she was about to say something. Yeah, I'd, love, I'd love to hear what she had to oh, say. I only said that about the lawyer, so she knew she didn't oh, have no. to answer all the <laughs> <laughs> Um I don't know what to say, I'm sorry. I, I usually do, but um, these are very good questions. It, it's going to take more than just me, like you all stated. Um, with respect to coming up with, um, we've, it's easy to, to do an opinion of cost on, the, on a, a total <clears throat> replacement of, our, of this water distribution system. I'm gonna say that we did a quick Opinion of cost, it's like eight to $10 million. There's a lot of infrastructure here. This is in the entire town. Um, but that's, that's if you wipe everything out and you start all over again. And I don't know if that's an important inf piece of information for you all to have, but if there's a request to look at the depreciation of this system, it's a little more complicated and it's not something I can do by myself. Um, we're not even sure that the original pipes in the ground, and if you look in the septic to sewer report um, of the pipe inventory, and you see that there's blanks in here, and, and I appreciate the chair saying that we, we did a good job, uh, the best we could, of the inventory, but there's blanks in here, and the reason why there's blanks is because I do not know pipe, some of the pipe types. I do not know if the town of Ocean Ridge even put in those pipes back in the day. This was probably the 40s and 50s, and um, the city of Boynton Beach may have even put those pipes in the ground. So there's some historical research that we're probably going to have to find, because if they're the ones that put in the original system, um, then then there's the, then your, the asset would be the information that I gave you from the 1994 plans from Boca, uh, Barca Osher Anderson in which we, the town, paid for. I mean, that we know. But we don't have, at this point, the information historically to even say that those pipes were being installed and paid for by the town. So it's going to take a little more than just me and the attorney. It, it, it may involve um, the auditors with respect to depreciation and how we deal with infrastructure that we are, that we may not know how that originated to begin with. We'll do the best we can and, and answer those questions. Thank you. Uh, I'd, I'd like to bring us back to um, the actions that we took here as a committee and the res Bonds that we received from the commission, and I would like. And again, this is personal. Uh, I don't know if other committee members have received the same type of input I have from staff and the other commissioners. Um, but what has been made, I think, very clear to me is the commission is not sitting on pins and needles waiting for up and down resolutions that you know, pass four to one, five to zero, three to two, whatever. The commission is asking us to act, to come forward with the questions that need answering as much as the answers to those questions. It's going to be very hard to develop a recipe for something that's got as many unknowns as we have. But what the commission would like to see, both in 
generated from our expertise and our use of the staff that's available to us and the research that people like uh, Mr. Shins have accomplished is um, to see what other people or what we can say would be if and when it happens that we would have a reasonable roadmap of how to progress. Uh, it's, it's, not, it's not going to have every step that has to be taken. It's not going to have every financial answer, but, but we, ne we need to have a general idea of if we were mandated or if something happened environmentally to the town that we have to respond, that we, we know how to get our, get, get our hands into it and get, get going with what would have to be accomplished. And, and I don't think, uh, you know, we do ourselves a service by uh, parsing out each one of these things and voting them up and down. I think what we need to generate is uh, a report that would show some of these questions, show as many answers as we can. We can take a position pro or con on all these things, and I think we should have uh, uh, the confidence in each other that even someone who is uh, a dissenter has a, has a place in that report to put the reasons for why they supported what they did. And I think that's what the commission needs to see. Um, whether that, at the end, um, if there's one or two items that we you know, want to say, uh, based on our overview, uh, we, we believe we should uh, proceed now or later or never, I don't have a problem with that. But I think it's information that the commission is looking for. Uh, anyone have any comments on, on that philosophy? Am I out of line or? Well, I don't think you're out of line, uh, first of all. Uh, I kind of like it because I don't think we, the five of us don't have any definitive answers, clearly. Uh, if, any, if any of the research shows that, both on the water side and on the septic to sewer uh, conversion side, there are no canned answers. And uh, Terry, thank you for telling us about that report because those numbers are staggering, right? And all those people that came before us had the same issues to con uh, contend with. And I don't think anybody in any of those municipalities had the foresight or the crystal ball that says, this is the way to do it and here's the roadmap. And uh, we certainly have found out, you and I uh, <laughs> collectively, that uh, trying to get some of those answers out of other people is difficult, not just because they don't want to answer the phone calls or they don't have the time, but in a lot of cases, they kind of winged it as well. They didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. So uh, I think that's enough general discussion then on. Um, well, can I ask a quick question? Why, please. Why can't we ask the commission exactly what they want? I'd like to follow. I think that also is, I went back and looked at what the initial letter said as to what the committee's purpose was and the committee's, as I read it, you may have read it correctly, it was more recommendation on whether to convert um, and then what to do about the water contract. So I, I think I agree with that. I think perhaps a little, maybe we should get a little more clarification. I would also go back to the point that I made before is that the um, perhaps there needs to be a presentation in front of the in front of the committee uh, in front of the commission as to what the committee's been doing, what the different thoughts are from the committee, and then ask the commission specifically what is it that you you know that you want from us, and then I think that will help focus us in that direction. Because I, for one, as you may have noticed from my two motions, think it is pretty cut and dry. Um, we can spend lots of time analyzing all these questions, but in the end, either it's your, in my opinion, it's your, not all that relevant, or they are items that we can look at today, but when it comes time, if and when the mandate comes down, if and when the grants are there, th many of those situations can, will be different. And so, uh, and then also certain items that to be addressed of vacuum versus gravity, 
I don't think those are decisions to be made by us. I think those are decisions that the engineer and maybe a value engineer and others prepare some very detailed reports. And then if they want to reconvene the committee to come back and say, look at it and say, well, what do you think? And then come back. Um, that would be the time to do it. Those are my thoughts. But again, I, I agree with, with John. If, if I could add on to, to what you just said. Uh, of to, the eight, to uh, add on to whom? To, I'm sorry, to what Art just said. Okay. The, of the eight questions that are here, only one of them could, I would think, definitively be answered by, by, this, uh, by this committee. And that would be the, the one about typical cost of infrastructure. That homework could be done. The rest of them are really, they, they fall into either the political uh, side of this or in, in some cases, the, the, definitely into the engineering side of this. We could spend, we could spend a lot of time trying to answer uh, questions one, everything except question number uh, three. And I'm not sure any of us would be qualified at the end to come up with anything that the town engineer or the town staff, okay, uh, couldn't answer okay, through whatever other mechanisms that, that's available to them. We, as, as a group, to, to, to even the, to assign these to somebody, uh, it would end up going against the wall that says this is an engineering, this is an engineering, or this is a legal, uh, legal question. Uh, I, I think uh, I appreciate these, these, these questions, but those questions should be come after the recommendation is made the recommendation was made is to turn it over. We made a recommendation that the, the water, the new contract should include, okay, Boynton taking over the system. We did that because we, we looked at the previous information. We, we, we talked about it here about the pluses and minus. We heard from the, from the community about their concerns, but we believe that that was the right thing to do, to separate out the two where we had the infrastructure belongs to the Ocean Ridge, the water comes from Boynton Beach, put them together and have them come up with their, their costing structure and what the rest of, a, of, the, of the contract would be. But for us to answer these eight questions, I think is, is, is not a practical uh, solution. What well, my two cents were. <laughs> Any other comments? And I mean, with respect to this bottle of potable water, maybe it would be, um, I mean, I. I'm allowed to as a citizen. Remember, we have had conversations with some of the uh, commission members to sort of explain how we got there, and um, and and I and I know that the chair had wanted to make an amendment to that and had some questions about uh, the perpetuity mm -hmm. and things like that. And I'm, and so I wonder whether or not it may be with respect to water, and then also the clarification on sewer appropriate at a future meeting to uh, allow the committee, have the committee give a presentation where we are, how we got to this motion, uh, how we didn't get to other motions if necessary, but I don't think that's necessary, um, and, and ask for some, some of that direction, if that might be appropriate. I don't know what the rest of the committee thinks about that. Yeah. I, I think we got pretty clear direction uh, from the comments by staff and uh, by the commissioners at the meeting mm -hmm. that uh, they, they, they wanted more uh, information rather than, excuse me, go ahead. No, when you're done. No, no, no my head's on Rod, um, my, my responding to you. Yeah, but my take of that meeting was is that the item was read, staff said that it was their opinion that there were <coughs> further questions that needed to be answered. Um, no one on this committee heard about any of those questions. They were not raised at, at our meeting, and now we know where those yeah, questions came because from. Because it came after. Yeah. Appreciate that. Yeah. But my point is that I think that it would have been appropriate and helpful. I'm very sorry. Um, very, uh, it would have been helpful and appropriate for uh, the committee to make a presentation. The no one on the commission said I have these questions. There was a question about, oh, you're going to give away a four million dollar asset. I would have been happy to answer that question at that at that meeting. Um, so I think that it goes back to my 
first comment which i tried to make politely was that i don't think from my experience that that perhaps was that i think that perhaps the committee should have been made a presentation and been there to answer and to discuss the questions and i think that's what i'm sort of saying maybe we should go take another crack at that and they may come up with the exact same answer um and we can and as mr kern uh discuss he could you know address our response to these questions that's that's all i'm asking for i'm suggesting and i don't know how the rest of the committee feels i completely agree yeah. we should, we we should have our say in, in public and maybe it needs to be standing uh, agenda item for the commission well i don't know i think if we have something important to by the end i think if we have something to discuss with them i don't know what mean. well i don't i don't think there's anything more to discuss with them until we formulate a response to, to these these at a minimum eight questions that are here and i think we have to also consider that it's more than a committee it's it's a town st staff that also feels that they need a, an answer to some of these items now i clearly understand that there's going to be many of these items that the people on this committee can't provide the answer to but that doesn't mean to say we don't formulate the question and uh, find the time or the the process to get an answer I think right now it's preliminary I think all we're doing is if we go back to talk to the to the Commission is we're, we're we're no further along than we were when you made the motion the last time uh, so, so uh, it, it doesn't have it, my support but go it, ahead. If, if I if I may on the July 15th uh, letter from from Tracy the town laid out the the two uh, the purposes of the recommendations that they wanted from this uh, this committee. One was the town's portable water contract, which expires September of 2020, and a septic to sewer conversion. This was the this was the objective, and the objective was: Do we renew the contract as is, okay, for the portable water, or do we turn as it was explained by Boynton? Do we turn the system over to them? That to me was a, a that was binary in nature. We're either going to say yes, we're going to we're going to stay the way it is with a new contract. You know, we could work on the language a bit to be more in favor for us, or were we going to not take care of our own uh, water system and uh, turn it over to Point Beach? To me, that's the only thing that I saw as our mandate here, and the recommendation was is that we would go forth with turning it over to Boynton. And then we have these these questions, which um, somehow doesn't match up with the objective. And I, well, would, I would, excuse me, no, okay. I just wanted to add that I think that if we knew what these questions were at that meeting, or we had made a presentation, I think there is the possibility that the commission might have agreed that, as to how we arrived at that position and that would understand that perhaps many of these questions really are not to the binary question relevant and don't really add anything to, to you know to the decision so I mean I mean I'm willing to take take it upon myself as the chair to uh, write a letter uh, to the mayor to ask the commissioners uh, to expand on what I saw as the direction at the end of the that the discussion on this item at the last meeting as to whether as mr. Kern says if this is only a, a binary process or whether uh, as uh, I was told by mayor cause at the at the end of the meeting uh, I'm not looking for you as a committee to be doing the job of the commission. The commission will decide up or down. The commission will decide whether to proceed or not proceed with both water and sewer. And this is what I expect from you. So I, I will ask for clarification on that. I'm not going to ask for uh, the opportunity at this point to, to be making a presentation to the, uh, to the 
to the uh, town commission because I don't think we've done all our work yet. I wonder if there's anybody on this committee who thinks maybe we should uh, make a motion and pass saying that we would like to uh, have a presentation in front of the commission to explain how we arrived at the decision regarding water and how we view the water issue. I wouldn't want to make a motion, but I, I think we should do both. Uh, I, th I, 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 think, I think I think Neil's uh, um, has a good suggestion. I'd like to totally see it. Totally agree. Totally agree. And follow that up with a presentation, if so desired. Yeah, yeah. here's a for that. motion have Neil do that to make some order? Well, yeah, let's have a motion and a second on the direction because if you want to make a uh, presentation to the town commission, I will need to put an agenda item on the agenda that's being prepared today. I'll make the first motion that the chair um, send a letter to the commission regarding um, how we view the scope and direction. direction. Yeah, that, that would be scope and direction of uh, reviewing uh, its charge to look into the on just the two water, issues water agreement and uh, septic to sewer conversion. I would I would second that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Tracy, what, were, what did, uh, you give me a little help here, uh, what should we say, request? Uh, uh, an agenda item. A, an agenda item to present background on. I think you're leading the staff. I don't think that's appropriate. I'm leading the staff. Yeah, you're, you're asking the staff to make your motion. And you're not asking the staff if, if that's something that they want. Sorry, I don't, I'm just going to ignore that. I mean, the staff doesn't vote. I don't understand that. That's comment. correct. So I was asking her for correct verbiage for what I was trying to say. But I'll, I'll do it myself. Okay. Um, to request an agenda item to present the, uh, the committee's position and background on arriving at their position with respect to the motion regarding transferring ownership of the util water utility lines to the city of Boynton Beach. I second it. Second. I, I, yeah. I just did. Yeah. Okay. Vote. All, 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 all you want to, uh, in favor. In favor. No. Yes. Yes. Okay, so I will place an item on the agenda for December 2nd for a presentation by the committee. Who is making the presentation? And um, normally it's the chair, but the chair is the dissenting vote. So that's <laughs> an interesting dynamic. So I would make a move. Well, I, someone well it, it, the, time, the timing is also uh, maybe not in the December one, but the January meeting. I, when We didn't say when uh, that should be done. Is that as soon as possible because of the November 21st letter? Normally, any uh, no. motions go to the next meeting, but it's up to you if you want to wait to um, January. When is the ja but I'm just January sixth. I'd like to make a motion also. December what? Did you say? December, December 2nd. second. January sixth. Or January sixth. So it's December the first. Second is a Monday. First right? Monday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, 
I think we should do it sooner rather than later. Okay. Yeah. So perhaps someone should make a motion, given that the chair voted against it, that perhaps someone should make a motion as to who makes, which members make the presentation. Okay, I have a motion. I'd like to make a motion that whoever makes, intends to make a presentation, present that presentation back to this to committee this again mm -hmm. for a vote before it is submitted to the commission. That makes sense. Yeah, that, that makes that perfect make, sense. That makes sense. And the, um, that response address why we are going back to the commission before we have addressed the eight questions that are on I, I just want to point this out discussion item. There's two separate items there. Excuse me, I made a motion. And I'm, I'm allowed to comment. Okay, is there a second for the motion? That's fine. Yes or no? No, I'll, I'll, I'll second because I think it's a good idea. Yeah. Okay, so now we can have discussion. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. So I think there are, I object to the motion because I think there's two parts to that motion. Yes, there are. Correct. And they should be separated. The one is whether or not this presentation should come back to the committee before going to the commission. Fine. I'm the person to favor that one. The second one is requiring somehow this report to justify the position that was already approved by a four to one vote. There is absolutely, that's, that's wrong. There's no need for that. There's no, we should not have to, we already explained, we took the vote, we don't I have to didn't justify ask for it. that. I asked for you to respond to, in that report, to the items that are here as item number three at this meeting. I'm sorry, I'll... that's the, the, the eight questions. You, you want us to do what? Is I want you to address you? item number three in your response to the commission. I think they should not go, not acting like this is in a vacuum or that it's going to be out in the future. It's not, it's here and it's now. I think that they should be two separate items because I think the consensus was is that a lot of these items are not really for associated with this item. I, I mean, they're, it's, I'll use the word superfluous, may not be the appropriate word, um, are not necessary to reach the, the conclusion and to take the pass the motion put that, that we did put that in your response that's what exactly what I'm asking you to do it'll be in the presentation I, I just and I just the way I stated my motion I was trying to ensure that so what so what are you arguing against do you want us to answer all these eight questions I didn't I, I left it to you to determine how you wanted to respond to item number three you can ignore them you can say you can use the words that you did that were superfluous. You can you can use whatever you would like, but I want that. My motion is to make sure this is addressed in your response. And I got a second. Can I call the motion? Call the question. Sure. I'm in favor of that. Yeah. In favor. <coughs> With that clarification, right. yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right, can we so in other words, the some who so is it art that is making the presentation? It's coming back to this committee on December nineteenth for review, and then the town commission agenda item will be January sixth. I, mean, I mean, I'll okay. I'm going to speak again as chairman. Art is the vice chairman. I think mm -hmm. that is appropriate. Okay. Making me work. Huh? <laughs> well, keep in mind, we're not asking you to answer all eight questions. Right. Right. We're, acknow right. we're acknowledging that they exist. Right. Right. Yeah. December 19th is the next committee meeting? Yes. Does that have to be a motion to pick the vice chairman or is that just chain of command? No. Consensus is fine. Consensus appropriate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Except my vote. <laughs> <laughs> Do it? No. Okay. Um, so I think that takes us through all the non contentious parts of the meeting. Uh, <laughs> 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 okay.
and we move on to um, item number two. Excuse me, can I ask one question? Yeah. Is it possible, I have no idea how this works, if I put together a draft presentation, mm -hmm. is it possible to submit it to the committee um, to get have them, you know, in advance? Nope. No, but they... Well, can't, but can't, can't it be part of this agenda package? Yes. So that they can then comment it at the meeting and not hear about it? I was just going to say, I, right. I was thinking you were saying, can they receive it in advance, make comments, and do all that? Well, if they can't do that, right. then at least uh, I will yeah. do my very best so everybody has it well in advance so they can uh, come and yes, redline it and do all sorts of things. Absolutely. That Staff always asks for all of the agenda package items in advance so that you have time to review. You have until tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> well, you're the master of the PowerPoint. So I expect PowerPoint from you. <laughs> 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 all right, let's go uh, to item number uh, two that is now item number four plus or whatever. Uh, you have the oh, I have All right. Yeah, so the non-contentious part of the meeting, good. Thanks. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> Can you hit him for me? Um, so just, oh, Terry left the room. I, I was going to thank him for uh, <laughs> bringing that article to our attention because there's a lot of information out there. And just before we even jump into this deck, um, it is really difficult to get people to share their, share their goods. Uh, as Terry mentioned, 30% of our state has septic systems and a lot of them have been converted and it's painful. Mm -hmm. uh, it really is a very lengthy process and it's, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. it's hard to figure out how people got their money and how long right. it took and all that good stuff, right? So there's turnover in municipalities right. so sometimes the institutional knowledge is lost. So I didn't want to again be the guy on the dais to sit here and say, well, I called a bunch of people and nobody called me back. Um, we did get some folks to return calls. We, we got some results, and the rest of it is cobbled together from just some primary research online. And, you know, there's a treasure trove of information out there. So uh, let's just go through this. So I looked at a couple of things. I looked at Lake Worth. Uh, Terry mentioned that one. Uh, Loxahatchee, uh, Indian River, obviously a little bit further north. Oak Hill, that's up on the Space Coast as well. And then there were some folks that uh, didn't return calls, but uh, I'm still hounding them in, in uh, Martin County and, and Naples. Uh, you can go to the next one. So for Lake Worth, um, this is from a, an op-ed piece in the Palm Beach Post, so don't put too much stock in this. I li literally verbatim uh, copied this uh, in there, but it just basically said that, you know, there, there really is the attention on the quality of water. Um, that there is, you know, issue with runoff and, and uh, the impact it has on our environment. Mm -hmm. um, that there have been monies made available, uh, although they're small monies compared to what is really needed. Um, and so the $667,000 you see up there, I'll give you a little bit further detail on, but that's for Hypoloxo. And that's really kind of an afterthought after, you know, they did their main project about 10 years ago, I want to say, right? Um, you can go to the next one. So for Lake Worth uh, Lagoon, uh, there is an appropriation that the state uh, legislature enacted. Um, it was put forth by our representative, Mike Caruso, um, and uh, it's, it's matching funds. So half of it is local funds, half of it is put up by the state, um, and this thing goes into effect next year, next summer, July 1st, 2020. And um, if you go to the next one, uh, so I just wanted to show you guys how, how much our uh, representative cares about water. He Not only did he show up here and sat at the days and or actually stood at the podium and addressed our uh, town, but um, I didn't know this, and maybe you guys didn't know this, but I thought it was interesting. He is the silver medal barefoot water skiing champ of the country, not of the state, of the country. Wow. Pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, I can't even tie my shoelaces because I have a bad back. This guy's water skiing. <laughs> um, but anyway, I think it's, uh, it's good to have people in Tallahassee that care about not just us locally, but understand uh, our issues. And so uh, nobody can read this probably, but, but what it basically says is hypoluxo septic to sewer conversion. Um, local funds were 333,000, state funds, same thing. So that gives you your 667. And um, that's not a lot of money. This is all requests, future requests. Approved. State legislature approved on that previous slide. Those monies have been All these on here have been approved. 
I don't know what the other ones. I only looked into the one for hypoluxo okay. for for the septic okay. sewer. So, Roy, did they want that? Was that money to actually do the conversion, or, or just part yep. of the yes. studies? No, to so do the conversion. They they did a conversion a while back, and this is for an, another phase of probably forty houses or so. Yeah, it's forty. Okay. Yeah, it's yes. a, I was gonna, yeah. If that was the whole town. But no, the are approved. no, it's it's about forty. Yeah. So. And he's asking for more in the future, correct? Yeah. <clears throat> um, just to give everybody a, a, an idea of you know what what does this look like, right? If if a town does proceed and, and, and make the decision to convert, uh, what's impacted and what are the costs that are coming at us? So I kind of outlined this for Loxahatchee. Am I saying that right, by the way? Yes. yes. I'm not local, so. Um, so there's four charges, right? A connection charge, an on-site connection, an assessment, and that's the big part. And then there's the uh, service charge. So the assessment is really where, where, where all the money goes, right? They, they take a look at the total construction for the whole town. They divvy it up equally uh, among among the units, houses, apartments, what have you, and then they come up with a connection, uh, excuse me, with an assessment. Uh, the other ones are, you know, smaller charges to connect your local property to the sewer line, uh, some money involved with that as well. But I threw that up there because it's, it's, it's important because no matter where you are or who's converting, these things are uh, universal. Lisa, am I right? Yes. And because you're kind of looking. There there is in the report um, a cost that separated out the actual connection cost on private property. So gotcha. you're correct. There is going to be a connection cost to the individual homeowner. Right. A lot more than what the we estimated, a lot more than what they had estimated for Hypoluxo, I think you put in there. Well, if you go to the next slide, uh, yeah. you, you can kind of mm -hmm. see. So, sorry, but this is you. so hard to see. I, Took this off the internet, but what this basically said is the connection charge. This is not the assessment. The connection charge there was based on uh, number of toilets in the home and uh, when the home was built, and from the smallest so one bedroom uh, built before eighty one, it was about twenty three hundred, and the highest one for four toilets uh, built after eighty one, about forty nine hundred dollars. So just kind of give people a range, right? Twenty three hundred to five grand to, to hook up, uh, depending on. How many? And then, if you go to the next one, please. So I kind of did a um, a range here that shows. All right, in Loxahatchee, the cheapest uh, assessment for properties came out to be about fifty three hundred bucks, and the, the highest one that they had was twenty two thousand. Um, most of these are paid over a twenty year period, right? So if you translate those numbers into a, a monthly amount, on the left hand side, on the low end, that's twenty two bucks a month. On the high end, that's ninety four bucks a month. That's not taken in, into consideration. Financing charges, I know, it doesn't, you know it doesn't, interest. It doesn't include the interest, so that number goes up. Interest in this country is cheap, and you, we're borrowing Europe, but they have negative interest, right? So, <laughs> um, so same thing here. Um, you know, there's some money for, they called it septic system abandonment in Loxahatchee, and there was local and state funds to the tune of about 1.4 million, a little shy of 1.4 million. And I, I apologize, this is so small, so. Um, same thing in Indian River, Sebastian, right? They, they, they're in the middle of uh, doing this, and uh, I put the URL at the bottom. Uh, it's really interesting to read up on. But so their connection uh, to the sewer was about uh, 20, 20 something hundred, right? So, so it's it's anywhere between that two and five five grand range to to hook up plus whatever the monthly is. Go ahead. Uh, okay, Oak Hill. Finally, somebody calls me back. I'm so excited. <laughs> this, this, this wonderful woman, Cohen Evans, uh, she was just a fountain of information. So, You're um, welcome for that lead, by the way. Ah, wow. Uh, I'll, I'll credit to my, yeah, my friend over there. Um, yeah, she was wonderful. Uh, so, so they're very similar to us, right? Similar in terms of the number of people in town. You know, what, what, what do we have, 1,600? They have 1,900. Um, they're about four years older than us. They're from 27. We're from 31. Uh, that's got nothing to do with the sewer, so move forward. Uh, <laughs> but she said, you know, they've been talking about this for about 20 years, uh, and their new mayor, who's been in town for about eight years, kind of pushed this forward. They also had a, a, a waste a facility that was put in town that kind of helped sway the decision to do the conversion in the first place. And um, uh, they're, but they're retaining control of all the infrastructure, so it's kind of interesting. Um, 
go ahead to the next one. Um, can you go back? For yeah. Uh, last bullet. Yeah. Anybody can provide more background on that, more I can. explanation, please? <laughs> So they're, they're considered a rural community, a fishing community, and because of that, they got a state grant of about three and a half million a revolving loan that the minute they get the money, 85% of it is for, for, forgiven. Uh, whatever's left gets paid at, at 31 grand a year. Uh, that's for the town, so that's very low uh, per unit. Um, does anybody is have that, a fishing boat in town? Can we, can we well, qualify as a fishing is, community? Is that, is that a normal occurrence that no. parts of these loans disappear? No. No, state revolving loan funds are not usually forgiven. This right, might have been because of the fact that it was considered a very rural, uh, low income, yep. right? Yep. Um, Fishing town. Uh, I don't know too much about Oak Hill, but yeah, if it's a if it's a low income rural community, they do forgive, but usually that's an exception to the rule. Mm -hmm. I, I do recall that in your report. You did mention some of the like Department of Agriculture rural loans as well, and yeah. while I've said this before, while, right. while we may qualify under some measures as being rural, I think you just imagine staff sitting around seeing a, 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 a grant request from the town of Ocean Ridge, and you know, they, I, they probably have a pretty good laugh trying to justify approving. Yeah, it's unfortunate that they're, they're on the Space Coast. Uh, if they were any closer, I would make a motion to an have them annex us, and, you know, just get the 85% get the 80, discount from, from Tallahassee, but no such dice. Um, we're on the Gold Coast. That's yeah, exactly. <laughs> not not going to fly. So, um, I, so I, have a, I have a question. Yeah, go ahead, Ron. Th this, uh, uh, I'm having a little trouble with the math here. D does Oak Hill already have an existing plant and yep. infrastructure? Yeah. So this is just a hookup to make everybody into that system. Correct. None of the, uh, are there any of the previous ones, do they all have uh, an infrastru sewer infrastructure already in place? No. So the price tag of that is, is substantially higher. It's not just the hookup charge, which we've heard from Lisa's uh, presentation for here of about 20000 above depending upon whether it's vacuum flow or gravity, uh, somewhere between 15 and $30 million. So these are, these are additive. So these are the guys saying, hey, I already got it in place. I already yeah. had a treatment plant. Uh, this is what it's going to take to get off of the septic system that's, onto the sewer. That's correct, because okay. they had a uh, couple of hundred unit, 55 plus community come in to hook up to, this, uh, to the plants, basically. The other thing is we got, we got it, when you say the hookup fee, that's really what you're talking about is the assessment charge. The hookup okay. fee is just the last you know, from, from the curb to your yeah, house. Yeah, sure. Got yeah, it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I think we, we beat that horse to death. Um, we'll go on forward. So I just, you know, in summary, um, yeah, this is bigger than a bread box, right? It's, it's not something that the five of us or even including uh, the town uh, can, can, can figure out anytime soon. This, is, um, this has been puzzling a lot of people in the state for a very long time. And um, I just threw up you know, the questions that I think we should be asking ourselves and of people a lot smarter than me, for sure, uh, in terms of whether to do this or not and what, what comes at us in terms of the finances, the infrastructure, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, and then uh, on the final one, if, if anybody wants to take it offline and, and call me or whatever, uh, I'm always available, so. Uh, I'd like to go back a slide. You don't like to see my face. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't like the guy water skiing. So, <laughs> um, he doesn't ski behind my house where the uh, plants dump their water. Um, these are some of the items uh, that philosophically I, I would like to see, I'd like to propose that this committee at least dip their toe into, uh, understanding that we wouldn't come to a conclusion of how to fund necessarily or specifically for these things. But I think we do need to make the community aware of uh, how you break out things like engineering costs and whether that's done in a uh, by parcel basis, by uh, uh, appraised value basis, whether it's uh, a charge that's rolled up into everything that's financed or whether that has to be uh, uh, funded with uh, a seed assessment to get it started. 
and uh, I don't think uh, it behooves us to wait until something comes rolling like a big bowling ball, a mandate, uh, to start addressing those issues, at least so that topically the town knows where there's going to be some hot buttons. Yeah. So I, I would like to see us at one of, perhaps one of our later meetings, I don't know if it'll be the next meeting now that we've complicated uh, the agenda here, um, that, the, that uh, the members of the committee come uh, with and express their ideas on some of these topics as well. Any other comments on that? Just, yeah, just on this report. Go just ahead. just real, real quick to answer your question about the assessment. So, for example, in Sebastian, right, their fair share cost was based on what they called hydraulic fair share, HFS. Mm -hmm. um, that was a new term for me, but uh, maybe you guys are familiar with that. So, it wasn't based on the value of the house or how many people there. It's I, I, based I, on actual usage. I think many communities have addressed this many different ways yeah. uh, right. as, to, as to how they've done it. And uh, all I'm advocating is that we make our community aware mm -hmm. of, of what some of these processes or options are uh, mm -hmm. because um, we have to, we ha if, if and when it occurs, we have to have a, uh, a system that uh, has the scale to work when we turn it on. So you have to decide how to provide carrots and sticks to get people to <coughs> hook up, to pay for the engineering, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, I, I thought you had an interesting one in your report where uh, they didn't prevent you from having a septic system that just made it expensive for you to keep it running. Yeah, that's and, what I was... And, and those, are, those yeah. are the kind of topics that the community needs to be aware of. It, it's not that they made it expensive. It's uh, if you kept your septic system, which you had up to five years to connect, but you could keep it for those five years. Um, if you kept it, you had to have it inspected every year, and that's kind of costly. And so people would say, well, it's not worth it. I might as well jump in now. So, so licensing or inspecting or how to sunset things, I think, is a, it's a significant uh, topic. Mm -hmm. um, uh, anything else, please? No. That, any, any other comments, please? No. Uh, uh, future future meetings. Continues. Future meetings. Um, do you think we have a chance to talk about the uh, the letter from Boynton? Yes. Oh, excuse me. And I want to talk Absolutely. about on one other item. Go ahead. I'm sorry, I got distracted. I can, I can understand with such a nice presentation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you want to do this uh, this letter I, I received from Boynton Utility? Yes. On uh, November first. Uh, Joe Pattenary from Boynton Utility sent uh, me a letter, uh, and the letter basically states, and um, I'm, I'm going to read it be, for the record because it's uh, it's, it's an interesting uh, concept. It's, it has to do with the Boynton Beach Water Service to the five condos south of Woolbright Road. Dear Mr. Kern, based on recent discussions with uh, Crown Colony and the Town Septic to Sewer Advisory Committee, it appears that the request to connect to a central sewer treatment and disposable system is delayed. As you are aware, Ocean Ridge is within Boynton Beach Utility Service Area and that the utility has planned to serve this portion of the service area. Because of the delay in the decision, the utility, has, uh, utility is delaying the construction of the force main crossing of the Intracoastal Waterway. The construction for the force main will now terminate at the west end of the waterway at the new Riverwalk development pumping station. While the town of Ocean Ridge or any individual customer requires service, the new force main construction will require additional construction easements within Ocean Ridge and an additional cost for the separate force main project. The current estimates for the future construction of the crossing would increase by a minimum of 25% over the current cost of approximately $225,000. This is a this is an interesting turn of events, okay, for us because uh, it was part of of the initial plan by Boynton to hook up south of Woolbright and just the five condos. Uh, the 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 project is delayed uh, for a lot of reasons. 
Uh, one of them is that the, the main design of this was going through Crown Colony, and Crown Colony has decided that they did not want to have that ma major lift station, pumping station, on their property. That they were looking for the town to come up with an alternative or plan B, which was never, never happened. Also, the additional cost of 25% uh, percent, but that was on top of the $2 million, okay, that it was going to, that the five condo associations were going to pick up. So basically, this 25% increase um, uh, is, is uh, uh, just added on top, just adds on top of the $2 million. The, this has caused uh, at least three of the communities, um, Crown Colony, Colonial Ridge, and Ocean Manor, to understand that the current system that they have in place is now going to be there for a long time. If you look at these kind of presentation numbers from Roy and some others, you can see that this project, even if approved tomorrow, could be 20 years before it really comes to fruition. In our case, we're different because we have to put an entire sewer infrastructure in, including these crossings and, and whether it's vacuum flow or gravity. So it, it means that the, for those multifamily homes, at least on the south side, and that's probably true of the north side of Woolbright, uh, they're going to have to, in their, let's say, financial strategy, reserve for an operation uh, budgets to include maintaining their systems for a long time. So this is, this is a, and, and, and f depending upon where you live, okay, that's, uh, that's, that could be a plus because it's, uh, the <clears throat> they're running some of them. I remember my, uh, my assessment by each individual uh, multifamily facility, they range anywhere from $28 or $25 up to $80 per month per unit owner to take care of their system. So f for them, if they reserve for the repairs and the maintenance of their system, they're going to have to for some period of time. Now, could this be accelerated? Absolutely. But for the time being, um, and I, I, I will switch a hat here as president of the, of, of the sewer treatment plant for 290 users, um, I plan to do a five and 10 year plan now of preventive maintenance to maintain the, uh, uh, the treatment plant uh, for that period of time so that it can run flawlessly and economically for that period of time. So in, in a way, this has pushed an issue Okay, that we know uh, the inevitable with this is you got to keep your plants running and, you, and, and it's going to be a while before the decision's made, and I think quite a while, uh, before we end up having pipes going across to, uh, uh, to Point. And as pointed out earlier uh, by Tracy that, uh, and the commission, that there's no way we're going to be building our own treatment plant on Ocean Ridge. Not going to happen. So therefore, we're going to be in partnership with them sometime if we decide to move forward on a complete conversion. There's, uh, there's alternatives that we'll talk about to a complete conversion, but uh, right now this is, the, this is the position that the communities, some of the communities that are south of Woolbright are facing um, today. That's it. No, not for me. Okay. Uh, next meeting. Can I just bring up one other issue? Um, I recently contacted a grant administrator that is working with other towns, and he gave us a bunch of information. Um, he's going to be meeting with the town commission coming up, but I'd also like him to meet with this committee so he can give you an overview of what he does, um, and he could also let you know what other towns have received in grant funding. Thank you. Um, cool. So if you'd like, I can try to schedule him to come in at, a, at your next meeting. Okay. If you agree? Yes. Okay. I'll see if he's available. Okay. 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 Uh, next meeting, uh, I would propose that we meet next in January. Instead of, wait, no, you're meeting December 19th, correct? Correct. I propose that we skip the December meeting. Uh, 
Well, yeah, for, 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 for me, it, 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 it works because I would have to, uh, if we keep it, I would have to fly down for it because I'm <coughs> up north in the month of December. So if, if we have it, uh, consider the importance of the meeting with respect to, uh, uh, because if you're going to make this presentation, I take it that would be in the January uh, commissioners meeting. Well, I'm confused now because the direction was for um, Art to give his presentation at the December 19th meeting right. so that the town commission could receive right. that report at their January meeting. Right. So I was just respecting the holiday and mm -hmm. I knew ahead of time the impact it would have on Mr. Kern. Um, so if we skip that meeting, we'll just have to, to things we need to do. Push the whole thing forward by so we can have a meaningful meeting. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to throw the I don't want to be uh, the rain cloud here. If the commission wants to, wants to go ahead with the December meeting, I don't know. I'll, we'll see if I can work it out. I have to keep pushing things back down the line. I, I can make December 19th, so I'm fine with it. Or move the date up if that makes it yeah, longer. Sure. Yeah, I mean, I'm here. Let's keep going. Go for it. Okay. Are you here too, Neil? Or I, I, I don't know. I, would, I was planning on it. Okay. So, yes. That's the so if that's the so consensus, we will keep December then. Very good. And so you can still receive the oh, materials I a, yeah, and I, make I get, I get, I get all this. Uh, as long as the next presentation isn't with a black background so that I need to run to Staples every five minutes for ink, <laughs> you know, I mean, we'll be okay. So. In, in, in my defense, we, we give a lot of keynotes in my business, and when you're standing up in a, in a large auditorium in front of 1,500 people, that white background with lo white letters is yeah. really harsh on the eyes, so a black background with white letters uh, works really well. Uh, if, just if you're in, in Las just, Vegas, I'm maybe just not so much. <laughs> I second this. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a question. I know we asked this before. Yes. Um, so uh, <clears throat> members are not allowed to participate by phone. Or can they participate in the meetings by phone? There, um, no, I mean, they're not supposed yeah. to. Any Skype? No. Oh, because I, I know. Yeah, we're not moving with the times. Right? I mean, you can certainly call in and listen, but you can't participate. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, however, you can receive the presentation ahead of time. If you have any comments, let staff well, know. Well, like I did one time, I sent them to you and yeah. you gave it to Neil. Exactly. Yeah. Try to avoid you having to come down. Yeah. So we have we'll, we'll see how that works out. We'll, it's, it's, it's just logistics. It's, we, you know, I mean, I'm happy to put you on speakerphone and mm -hmm. put a cut out picture of you. <laughs> <laughs> you can hang it right off the front. That's, here. that's right. In that's spirit. Right. We I do have it. a phone in the room if you want to if you want to listen oh, we'll, in. Well, we'll see. I don't see how that works out. Okay, the 19th. Okay. So be it. Cool. All right, so we're back to the 19th. Uh, can we ask the attorney to be here, please? Yes. So we're going to have an item on grant funding. We'll have a presentation, and we'll have town attorney here. Any other agenda items? The, yeah, uh, making a report, the pres presentation. presentation to answer the commission for yes. review and approval. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have that one. Okay. Um, I'd like to get together with you to develop uh, an item referencing uh, that last slide that I commented okay, on sure. out of your report, if that's okay. Yeah, of course. And uh, start talking about those items. Certainly. Which is sewer, not water. Mm -hmm. I just have a, a quick question. Uh, if we were to visit some of these uh, other <coughs> municipalities that have done this, we cannot do that as a, as a group or two individuals. We have to do it indi individually. Yes. Mm -hmm. You violate sunshine if you go together. Mm. Even if we take separate cars. Yeah. You can notice it. Mm. I have a... Okay. I mean... It just seems... It, uh, I mean, I'm sure we're not going to discuss the state of the world here. We're going there for the... Well, I can understand the point, but it's, it is in violation. Uh, I, I, making that and then coming back and making a presentation to the, to the, to the town seems like a, a, 
efficient way to do it, but I guess mm -hmm. I, I appreciate the point of view. The other alternative would be to post it as a public right. meeting. We have to take minutes, though. That's yeah. the so you'd have to have a staff member there. Walk around and with a yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're going to the Barbados. Is one of them. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's not like we're going to Disney. <laughs> see their sewer plant. <laughs> Okay, uh, so I good. think that's, uh, I mean, on the flip side, if we do fine and conquer, we can each, you know. That's possible. Do different ones. Yeah. In that case, uh, I'd make a motion to adjourn. But can I ask one more quick question? Oh, never mind. Is there a way to ask the commission the specific exact question they want us to answer for the septic to sewer so we don't get a bunch of questions back next time? Specifically, like cost per unit, I mean. You know, ten questions like this, like the eight questions. So I we're think not they're. Just going I, all I think over they're the looking question. to you to just do that, to to come up with the questions and answers yes, for them they're, and they're, develop the plan. They're not only looking for answers. Right. They're looking for questions. Right. They're looking. Sure they're looking to <laughs> you to come to them with an overall plan, per se, for a septic to sewer conversion, and then your recommendation on whether you think we should move forward or not. Um, so we won't get any questions. Something back comprehensive. Make a recommendation next time. No, probably. Yes, that's what I'm saying. So yeah. otherwise, we're going to make a recommendation. We're going to get questions back again. So I mean, is there, sure. are there things specifically that they want from our recommendation? In our recommendation, I, I think it's one of those they don't know what they don't know. Just like a. It might be that after they get the, the letter that uh, Ms. Neal's got a draft, that might, maybe in their response to that, they, they might be able to give some insight. Mm -hmm. That's all. Make a motion. Make a motion, make a motion to adjourn. All in favor? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, let me, uh, I'll give you a buzz. Yeah, okay.